New information tonight into the deadly shooting during Friday night's protest in downtown Detroit. Police are sharing this photo of a new person of interest who may be connected to the shooting. Photos are also circulating of the person thought to be the shooter, along with other male suspects. Police say the shooter is on the left here and is between the ages of 17 and 20, wearing a dark hoodie, yellow pants, and a surgical mask. They're also looking for the two men with him on the right. Police say they shot and killed a 20 21 year old man from East Point Friday night near Congress and Randolph while the protest was going on. The treasurer of a parent teacher organization in Gross Point Public Schools is facing embezzlement charges. Police say Keith Smith embezzled more than $91,000 within his two and a half years in office at Monteith Elementary. Smith was also treasurer of the school system's millage renewal committee for the last three months, where he allegedly embezzled more than $1,000. Prosecutors say financial audits show unauthorized activity from Smith in both of the accounts. His arraignment is scheduled for June 3rd. Great news today for anyone with bottle and bottles and cans piling up at home. Bottle returns can resume on June 15th. Retailers must accept bottles using machines and they must be at the front of the store or in a separated area. Retailers can also choose to implement additional safety measures, including limiting customers to $25 worth of returns, limiting service hours and available machines and temporary closures for cleaning. Stay with us. Bernie's up next with sports, but first let's see what's coming up on The Tonight Show. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Devin. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, everyone. In Detroit, we have an all-new Tonight Show tonight with CNN anchor Don Lemon, NAACP President Derek Johnson, and educator Jane Elliott. All-new Tonight Show, right after you guys.